Hello everyone, praise God, praise the living God. It's another day that the Lord has made, it's another evening this side. Hope you're fine everyone. Good morning those who are abroad, wherever you are according to the time zone. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. I love you so much. You know that I always check on you, I always hear, always to share with you the word of God. And tonight, today, I just wanted to, 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 to start the series of learning the tabernacle of Moses. The tabernacle of Moses. You know, one day Moses told God that if you're not going with us, then do not allow us to go. And then God, God told Moses in the chapter 25 of Exodus, that if you want me to dwell within you, if you want me to be with you, yes, if you want me to walk with you, then you may you make for me a tabernacle, a tabernacle, a sanctuary. Uh, as I've been teaching from day one, that God has been in need of talking to people. I mean, staying with people. God is goal is to stay with these people, is to have a relationship with them. So God told Moses, you know, Moses went to the mountain and he was praying because remember Moses, he saw God from the mountain. He was feeding the sheep of his, of the in-law. And the Bible said that he saw a burning bush. He went close. Now, after God telling him, go and redeem my people that I've chosen, go and redeem people who have been crying for me and bring them into the prom to the land that I to the promised land, the land which I promised to his, to his father's fathers. The book of So God chose to be with these people. He had redeemed from slavery. After redeeming them, he decided, when Moses told him, well, we will not go if you are not going with us. But remember, God had decided that I will not go with you, but I will send you with an angel. An angel will go with you. So Moses told God, when you were sending me to these people to redeem these people, you never told me to, that uh, I'll go with uh, an angel. So if you're not going with me, if you're not going with us that because you want to send us an angel, then we are not going. And then God told him, Moses that if you want me to be with you, Remember, God, Moses had gone to the mountain to fast for 40 days. He had fasted for 40 days. And then God told him, we are going to read the Exodus chapter 25. Exodus 25 and verses 8. And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell in their amidst. Exactly as I show you concerning the pattern of the tabernacle and of it and all and of all its furniture, so you shall make it. From the beginning, God wanted to be with His people. The tabernacle of Moses represents the tabernacle which is in heaven. It was a representative of the tabernacle which is in heaven. So God brought the tabernacle of, which is in heaven and he gave it to Moses so that he can do exactly what God wanted him to do. God told him, do not change anything. 
because if you want to if you want me to dwell with you you know in the old testament god used to, to visit god used to visit these people he used to come sometime and sometimes he could not sometimes you know it was just a visit but wherever the tabernacle was wherever the ark of the covenant was god was there so god tells moses that if you want me to be among you if you want me to dwell within you construct for me a tabernacle a tabernacle of moses was a pattern of worship remember it has seven furnitures these furnitures every priest was who was serving could do whatsoever god had told them to do it is so much important to understand this tabernacle i'm going to be teaching it's going to be a series each furniture and its work how does it work now in our days how are we supposed to live because many things we we've studied a lot we, we we know just the bible and we do not understand the meaning of every furniture because i know one thing that everything which was in this tabernacle represented christ and if we understand the things which represents christ we will know salvation we will understand that christ god never wanted from the beginning god wanted to dwell within us inside of us i'm telling you the children of israel never worried and those who worried it's because they looked back but whoever never looked back to be scared of the egyptians and focused on god and looked upon god i'm telling you they conquered everything they conquered the enemies that enemies trembled before seeing them before reaching them this tabernacle the bible says god told the god told moses to tell the children of israel let them let them if i if they want to be amongst their midst let them do me and and when god was giving up this work he chose special people to construct the the tabernacle everything god had directed some people he had given knowledge to some people the bible says that i've given them my spirit of wisdom to make all this that i've ordered you no wonder when moses came back the second time when he had remember moses fasted for 40 days two times the first time it's when god gave them gave him his these laws and all the plan of the tabernacle and when he was going to he was coming back from the mountain with joshua god told moses run hurry up hurry up down on the mountain because your people have sinned against me No, no matter i i just wonder because these people had broken the first covenant the first command of god moses was bringing the bible says love the lord your god and do not worship any other god so these people when moses came down from the mountain he found them worshiping another god 
which is the first command, do not worship another god. So when Moses came back, he broke the Ten Commandments and he, all, all God had told him, God had given him. So when he came back, he was angry and he had to go back to the mountain. When he went back to the mountain, he got the laws and the tablets. The second time when he was coming back, the Bible says the woman of the wife of Moses saw him from afar and he said, My husband has seen God. His face was shining because he had all the, the furnitures of the tabernacle of Moses. He had all the wisdom of how to make the tabernacle. The presence of the Lord was had filled Moses. Moses was from the presence of God, and no one could look at look at him. So we are going to be start. We are going to study furniture by furniture. If we understand salvation, I'm telling you, salvation is so easy. This journey we are living in is so is and so simple. The Bible says Jesus told them the children of Jesus told in the book of him, the book of Matthew, chapter eleven, verse twenty-eight, that carry my cross because it is light. Salvation is light. It is so much light. Not expensive at all. I mean, like us, you failed. You 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 do not go for fornication, and you save your money, you save your life. But if you're not born again and you're not saved, you spend money, you spend your life, you end up regretting everything concerning your life. You always have the pictures which are not worthy. You always have libretes. So much expensive. So much heavy. Always having hatred inside of you. Walking and you cannot, you cannot even find, you cannot hug everybody. Because you have hatred inside of you. So much heavy. Jesus said, come and carry my cross because it is so light. So we are going to learn the tabernacle of Moses, studying each and each and every verse. Why? Because if you understand this, you will know the picture of Christ. Because in every scripture we have Christ in it. In every chapter of the Bible, Christ was showing himself. Remember in chapter 3, the Bible says, God said to, 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 to the devil that uh, the seed of a woman, the seed of the woman will crush you. So from Genesis chapter 3, Jesus has been coming. Christ has been appearing in many different, way, different ways and different things. God has been bringing him. Showing to us the way, the right way. Remember I told you, from day one, God, God's purpose was so that man should not live alone. Man should have him. Man should have a relationship with God. In chapter 6, the Bible says, that I will not dwell with man anymore. Because man has become flesh. And after Noah doing everything and sacrificing, God said, Then I will not do whatever I had promised. 
And now God plans to come back to man and dwell with man. So all the sacrifices which we, we, they had, they were sacrificing all the offerings. We are going to learn one by one by the grace of God. I will be here tomorrow and we shall share the word of God. May God bless you so much. Let me pray with you. Let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I pray that your cleansing blood cleanse us, O Lord. Make us new. Make us a generation that is proud of you. A generation that you will be proud of. A generation that fears you. A generation lo that loves you. Make us the people, the kind of people that you want us to be. We fall unto you, Lord. The Bible said that whoever falls on you, will be safe. But whoever the stone will fall on, who will be crushed. We do not want to be crushed, but we want to be to walk in holiness. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. May God bless you so much. I love you. I love you so much.